Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this video we will learn about how we can enable the knowledge and use them in the case in Salesforce. Now very first let's understand what is knowledge and how it is useful in the case in Salesforce. For that let's jump to the Salesforce org. Now let's understand knowledge using the scenario. So for example an user has raised one case about the Wi-Fi is not working so that he will add the subject Wi-Fi is not working in his case and after that when the customer submit the case the case will get created in our case object. So here let me open the case object for that click on app launcher and search for case. Now here let me change the list view from all open cases to recently viewed. Now let me open any case. So here you can see here we have case subject as net not working. Now for example when this case will get assigned to the new customer support agent and maybe you don't know how to resolve this query. So for that we have knowledge articles in the Salesforce and when we open any case according to the subject the knowledge article suggests the article that can help to resolve the query. Now as I scroll down when we enable the knowledge the knowledge article will be displayed over here that means whatever the subject we have according to the case that means according to the case subject the knowledge article will display over here and using these knowledge articles the support agent can resolve the query. And also very important thing we need to enable the knowledge user to use the knowledge articles in the Salesforce. So let's understand what is knowledge user in Salesforce. If I tell you in the simple terms a knowledge user in Salesforce is a someone who can create, edit, publish and manage the knowledge articles. So where is the knowledge articles? The knowledge articles is the object in the Salesforce. Now as I click on the app launcher and search for the knowledge, here you can see under the items we have knowledge as I open it. So currently we don't have any knowledge articles in this object. As I click on the draft articles, here also we don't have knowledge articles and in the published articles here also you can see we don't have any published knowledge articles in the Salesforce. Now first we need to set up the knowledge for that we need to enable the knowledge user from the user record page. So here the knowledge is a feature that lets you create a library of help articles for your customer agents and employees. After that to work with these articles a user must have knowledge user checkbox enable on their record user page. So here let me tell you before enabling the knowledge user checkbox can we access or can we set up the knowledge for that click on the gear icon go to the setup. After that in the quick find box we need to search for knowledge. Here you can see here we only have the knowledge action but we need to support the knowledge so that we can use the knowledge articles in the case object for the case solving. So in this video we are going to learn about how we can enable the knowledge user. After that how we can add the knowledge articles in the Salesforce, how we can publish it and after that I will tell you how we can use those knowledge articles to solve the query raised by the customers in Salesforce. For that watch the video till end and don't miss any step. And if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever you post a new video you will get an update. And also before moving ahead here is very big announcement for the Salesforce Geekers. We recently launched a Salesforce admin training course in that we explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way so you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level in that we have covered 10 modules you will get lifetime access. So here you can see here we have covered 10 modules introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup, after that Salesforce user management, then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs, after that the Salesforce fields and formulas, UI customization in Salesforce, after that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. Now very first, let's make our user as a knowledge user in Salesforce. For that, here you can see, here we have profile, click on it and then click on the setting. 
After that, as you scroll down, here you can see, here we have knowledge user option, which is unchecked. First, we need to check this checkbox and then click on save. So here we have given the permission to this user for the knowledge articles or the knowledge user. Now let's check whether can we use the knowledge articles or not for that. Here I'm clicking on setup. Again in the quick find box, search for the knowledge setting. Here you can see under the feature setting, we have knowledge settings. That means now this user have permission to use knowledge articles in Salesforce. So here we need to open this knowledge settings. Now here we need to check this checkbox and then click on the enable Salesforce lightning knowledge. After that, we need to click on this OK button. And then here we need to do some settings for that click on this edit button. So here we need to activate this validation status field. After that, as you scroll down here, you can see here we have internal app, then customer and then partner. We need to enable this all these article summaries. Then as you scroll down here, you can see suggest related article on cases. That means whenever we open any case, after that, it should be suggest some article based on the cases or based on the case subject. So here I'm checking the checkbox and then here you can see available case field. Here we are already selected the subject. That means that means whenever we open any case, whatever the subject there will be according to that subject, the knowledge article will get open. Now, as you scroll down here, we directly need to click on the save button. Now very first let's check whether is there any knowledge article we have or not for that click on the app launcher and then here I'm searching for knowledge as I open this knowledge object then let me open the all published articles. So here we don't have any single knowledge article published in this Salesforce org for that first we need to insert some knowledge articles and then we need to publish it. So here let me open the downloads there I have already downloaded one knowledge article file. Let me show you here you can see knowledge data load. So I will provide the link from where you can download the knowledge articles. So let me open the CSV file. And now here you can see here we have title then summary and then URL name. Now we need to copy this one. So here I have selected this one and then control C here I have copied this one again we need to navigate to the Salesforce. Now we need to import those knowledge articles for that. Let me do the data import. So here you can see the data import click on this. Then here you can see in the action we need to select as an insert after that in the object here we need to select knowledge underscore underscore KAV and after that as you scroll down. Here you can see here we have data here we need to paste the data that we copied. So here I'm pasting the data control V here you can see the title summary and as I scroll it here you can see the URL name. Now we need to insert this data to the Salesforce that means we need to import the knowledge articles for that here you can see here we have run insert as you click on it here you will see four records will be created and here we need to click on this insert button. Here you can see the four succeed that means the knowledge article has been successfully inserted to the Salesforce data. Now let's check whether is there any article is published or not for that again in the app launcher here I am searching for knowledge. Now as I change the list view here you can see the draft articles. So here we have the articles that we inserted from the Excel as I open the Excel here you can see let me minimize this one. And here you can see the same articles that we have in the Excel sheet. Now here we need to publish this article for that we need to open this one. And here we don't have the publish button. So here first we need to add the publish button to this page layout for that click on this gear icon and then here you can see here we have edit object click on it. Now go to the page layouts. Here you can see here we have one page layout open it and then as you click on this mobile and lightning actions 
here you can see here you will find the publish button here you can see here we have publish button drag this and drop to the so first we need to enable this one salesforce mobile lightning experience as you click on this gear icon so now we can add the publish button again drag this and drop to the salesforce mobile and lightning experience again save it and now let me open the knowledge article again again open the draft articles open any article and here you can see now this time here we have publish button click on this publish button and then click on the publish so here you can see frequently asked question about the policy coverage has been published so like this you can publish the article that you want so here i am publishing all the articles now here you can see as i open draft articles here we don't have any draft articles because because i published all the articles that we have in the this object here you can see the four articles we have and i have published all these articles now after publishing the knowledge article we need to enable the einstein service reply for email for that again click on this gear icon then go to the setup now in the quick find search for the einstein service now here you can see under the service cloud einstein here we have einstein service replies for email as you click on it here we need to enable this toggle button so let's turn on this service replies for email and then here you can see here we have set up grounding so now we have turn on the service replies for email but to generate the content from the knowledge article that means whatever the query the customer will ask to resolve that query einstein needs to generate the content from the knowledge article to generate that knowledge article we have to ground the data from the knowledge as well as the case object so for that we need to set up the grounding that means set up grounding as you click on it so here you can see here we need to turn on this service ai grounding so here you can see again we need to enable this toggle button and now we have successfully enabled the service ai grounding now as you scroll down here you can see here we have two objects knowledge and case so now as you scroll down here you can see here we have title we need to first edit the button and then in the title we need to select the title of the knowledge article so here i am searching for the title here you can see here we have title and then in the summary we need to select again summary after that click on save and then we need to active this grounding with knowledge after that again click on the case again click on edit again in the subject here we need to select the subject and then in the description we need to select the description again we need to click on the save button and then active this grounding with cases now let me close this one now let's open the service app for that click on the app launcher and search for the service now let me open any case record so here we have the case because i want to check whether the knowledge article is coming up or not for that let me click on this related so still we don't have any knowledge article here so here we are not getting any knowledge article option so first we need to add the knowledge article to this page layout for that click on this gear icon and then here you can see here we have edit page option as you click on it the edit page will open now under the components here we need to search for the knowledge here you can see under the standard components we have knowledge you need to drag this and drop to the this related page now the knowledge component has been successfully added to the case object so here let me close this one and after adding the knowledge component we need to save this page activate it 
and then we need to assign as or default and after that click on next and then click on save so activation setting has been successfully changed let me go back again now this time here you can see here we have knowledge article has been successfully added to the case object now as i scroll down here we have one case seeking guidance on the electrical wiring installation for gc5060 that means this case is raised about the installation for something so here now here you can see in the suggested article they have suggested one how to install your new solar panel that means this suggested article takes the title from the subject of the case so here you can see this case for the installation and the knowledge article has been suggested the installation of solar panel so now let me open the knowledge article so here we have the published knowledge articles let me copy any of them so here let me copy how do i reset my solar panel system so here i am copying this article title and again let me open this case now here i am opening this case and this time here you can see in this subject we are getting the how to install your new solar panel article now let me change the subject that i copied now here i am pasting the copied article title and then click on the save button now we have changed the subject of the case now this time here you can see here we have three suggested articles so first one is how do i reset my solar panel system because the knowledge article taking the subject of the case to suggest the knowledge articles i hope you have got an idea about knowledge articles knowledge users and how we can use the knowledge articles to solve the query in the case object in salesforce so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever we post a new video you will get an update thank you